This is uh, practice quiz three for quiz six in the third trimester of algebra two. So the amplitude is the absolute value of A, which is gonna be four. So this time the absolute value does kick in and two pi over the absolute value of B, which is four. So pi over two is the period. Minimum and maximum, so K minus absolute A and K plus the absolute value of A. So this is going to be negative five and this is going to be negative one. Um, I have never showed you actually how to graph these, but you could also just tell by graphing it um, very simply. Okay, notice, um, oh, this isn't this one. I think on one of these practice quizzes, I gave you all the same function all the way down. If it's broken up into sine and cosine, it's actually very simple. So again, the sine goes through the origin. So C and D are graphs of sine. And then just look at the amplitude. So on D, this is a sine function with an amplitude of three. Okay, so that's going to be here. And then this is a sine function with an amplitude of one half. So that's going to be there. And the other two are cosine graphs. And so we've got an amplitude of one for A. And so this has an amplitude of one. So A is going to go here. And then this one has an amplitude of four. Okay, and that's this graph here. So B is there. So analyze the amplitudes. I think on one of the practices, I made them all the same function, which is very interesting. Okay, seven and eight, turn everything into um, sine and cosine, but you can just look this one up. One over cosecant, that's sine. One over sine is cosecant, back and forth. So there's not anything really, you could do it. Okay, so you could have this like this, and then you flip and multiply. So there's your work if you wanted. One over one over sine is sine. Okay, sine over cosine, that's just a straight lookup, tangent. Okay, cosecant squared over one. Okay, and so that is cosecant squared. Nothing too hard on that page. Okay, and then proving um, these identities. So again, you want to turn everything into sine and cosine. Let's just cosine over sine. Does this equal cosecant? So we have one over sine. Does that equal cosecant? It does. So you do have to write it out fully to show that. Okay, here this is one again times cosine times one over, sorry about this, one over cosine squared, that's awful sloppy, times cosine squared, turn everything into sine and cosine. And does this equal cosecant squared? So those drop out. So we have one over sine squared. And does this equal cosecant squared? And it does. So any power on the uh, reciprocal ratios also works. So if it was cubed, it would work. If it was to the fourth power, it would work. My writing seems to be awful sloppy these days. Okay. So um, again, you need to determine this delta table here. So the B is two. So this is going to be pi over four, which is three pi over 12 again. So every little um, scale of three marks. Okay. So zero is going to give zero and then at three so this will be pi over four we're going to be up to three this will be pi over two back down to zero 
Um, this will be uh, 3 pi over 4 down to negative 3. And then this will be pi 0. So you're, I'm getting these by um, take them in, in, into 12. So it's 3 pi over 12, 6 pi over 12, 9 pi over 12, 12 pi over 12, and reducing those. But you need those scale marks again so that you can do this. So y equals 0 is your midline again. It's very important. Every time you graph, you got to know the midline. That's the number added on the end. So if this said plus 2, y equals 2 would be your midline. And you'd have to change the curving around that. So 3, 3, 6, 0, 9, negative 3. And then back up. So we're going way up here. And then down. And then we're changing our curving over. by kind of curving up. And so if we kept going, then I'd be curving down and so on and so forth over and over and over. So that's just one period of that graph. Okay, and this is three and negative three. So it's pretty simple. You just got to do this. This tells you the step. Just use the scale marks, which are pi over 12. If you're not sure, you know, how you're getting the Y's, you can just crunch it out. So pi over four, you put it in for x. You could also, you know, might as well show this one time, I guess, make sure you're in radian mode and then just put it in. You do have to get your, your, your delta table set correctly. So you got to go to your table and zero and the delta table is pi over 12. And then you'll see it So there's three. You got to follow the actual, you know, scale marks, and then down to six, three, four, five, six. So it's actually doing the pi over two, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you can get it um, to work, but you got to set your delta table by pi over twelve, um, and be in radians mode. You can also do the other thing, go to degree mode and set your table by 15 degrees. Same thing. So whatever works for you, I end up at 180 there. You can also take a look. Oh boy. You got to do, um, Zoom trig, that's a, a goofy little thing that you got to do to get the axes to work out right. Um, anyway, so that's practice quiz three or quiz six in the third trimester of Algebra 2.